Um, I do want to go ahead and spotlight someone. We have been covering, trying to do this every night, where we feature someone as a part of Black History Month. In the past, I did this and I mainly covered people who had already passed away. And this time around, I've decided to cover people who are still alive as well. <laughs> but this gentleman, you may know him. He was on my show. Uh, I want to give a spotlight to him because I think he's just freaking phenomenal. And speaking of the U.S. government, they're coming after him right now, too. And so tonight, spotlight is the one and only Amali Yeshitela, Chairman Amali Yeshitela. He is a part of the Uhuru movement. He is freaking awesome. Yes, their uh, facility in Florida was raided a couple of months ago. You guys may remember this. I covered it. And they're going after groups that are doing well on their own. This is a group that really helps out the people in their community. They not only clothe people, they feed people, they teach people. They even have a reparation center in St. Louis. They are doing so much. They have multiple locations, but they also have been smeared as like these Russian assets, right? So shout out to Amali Yeshitela. And you can see here, if you were to go to the Burning Spear, you can find out more about the Uhuru movement. Please go ahead and give them some type of love right now, you guys, because like I said, the government, the federal government, the, the FBI's of the world are after them and they are trying to, they're really trying to come after Amali Yeshitela. So what you need to know about the Uhuru movement, it's a worldwide organization under the leadership of the African People's Socialist Party, uniting African people as one people for liberation, social justice, self-reliance, and economic development. If you want a world free of oppression, there is a place for you in this movement. So here's him there with members of the group. And I just want to play this quick soundbite from him here when he was on last year. Wise words here. Listen to this. Happen that way. Uh, we're talking about a mode of production, and for this mode of production, of socialist mode of production, to express itself fully, uh, then it has the part replace, replacing the capitalist mode of production, not making it nicer, not making it better. So when African people, when the Martin Luther King gets involved, uh, for example, in a poor people's movement in Washington D.C., that he declares is going to shut down the airport and necessarily occupy the Congresses and things like that. He's talking about something different uh, than a strike at a, at a local auto plant. And when Malcolm X talks about uh, that we have to be free by any means necessary and then raises the question of colonialism, he's talking about something different. And of course, Fred Hampton, the Black Panther Party, they were talking about African people actually having power over our own lives, which means it negates the power and the authority of a colonizer uh, that uh, oppresses our people and exploits all of our resources as a normal function. Uh, so that's why black people, Africans who are engaged in the struggle for socialism, not just us, I mean, you look at Nkrumah, look at Lumumba, who they cut up in little pieces, the FBI, working with the Belgians and the French, cut them up in little pieces, and then actually put them in, in vats of acid and burn uh, the, the remains of that. Um, because, uh, and then using what they say about Lumumba, that uh, they did that because he was working with what? The Russians. So this is, uh, this is a, a common playbook, uh, but Africans represent such a fundamental uh, 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 sector uh, of this whole uh, political and economic configuration that constitutes this capitalist world, that that's the thing that makes us an extraordinarily important a uh, force that they have to contain and deal with. Well said. He's talking about people seizing the means of the production. He's talking about people helping their own community and helping out each other. So tonight's spotlight is Amali Yeshitela.